Hey everybody and good evening. This is Braden Chase for English Hackers and I am really excited to talk to you guys tonight. Um, today I had another experience, something that I um, has happened before, an experience that happens a lot actually in as an English teacher and the things that I do. And I was thinking about this and thinking about all of these other times that this has happened. I'm like, this is just something really important. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. And it has to do with what I was doing, right? So I'm working on a project and I'm, I was building a website and um, I'm, I'm working on a building different things and I hit a point where I didn't know what to do. Like, hmm, now what? What next? I don't know how to do this. What do I do? <laughs> Right? So I get in there and I'm like, okay, well, let's go to YouTube. And I go to YouTube and I type in YouTube and I searched for something. I, I put in a little search thing and none of those things worked, right? It wasn't right. And I go back to YouTube and I go type in something else. And that didn't work either. And I go try again. Didn't work. Uh, kind of close. Okay, try something similar to that. Oh, hey, there we go. Now I've got something. Now we're working on it. Moving through. Um, same thing happened a couple of days ago with Wikipedia. So I was looking for some information on um, a, a project that I was building for the school where I work. I'm like, okay, there's a word here. I don't know what that is. I'll go look it up. So I get onto Wikipedia and I'm looking at it. I get onto dictionary.com and I look at it and I go on a thesaurus.com and I'm looking at that. And I'm looking at all of these different things and I'm learning. And I'm learning important things. I mean, my job, I can fulfill my job. I can do things better. I can work on my own business and expand that. I can do these things. And it's just fantastic and it's great. All of these wonderful tools that we have on the internet. And I remember, and I stopped today and I'm like, you know, I can do all of this because I can speak English. My ability to speak English and to hear and to read and to write in English um, is what allows me to have access to this information because there are millions and millions of people all around the world who have access to these videos or to Wikipedia but they can't read the English so they don't get the information say like, oh well you can translate Wikipedia not really Wikipedia isn't actually translated they're, they're completely different articles so if you look at English for example on Wikipedia there's I don't even know how many millions upon millions upon millions of articles that are there in English on Wikipedia. And say in Portuguese, I think it's still under one million. So there's five plus million articles, if last time I checked anyway, on Wikipedia for English. And like 900,000. So there's almost five, what, 500% more? Don't check my math on that. A lot more. <laughs> Uh, for English, right? And English is the number one. It's more than double whatever the number two was, which I think was German after that. But it's just, it's all in English and there's tons of it. And I remember going into the Portuguese um, Wikipedia and the article is like a paragraph long. I go to the English article and the article is like 34 pages long. And it's just a different world. When you are able to function inside of English, so much more information is available to you. Now, you don't need to know everything, right? There's, there's tons of stuff and then you don't need to know everything. But when you need something, you can get it. It's like, just like what happened to me. I'm like, oh, I'm building something on my website. Oh, I don't know how to do it. What do I do? Search, 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 right? And I go find something. Ah, there we go. And I find it and I watch the video and I understand, bam, got it, okay? And I can do that because of English. Now, this is one of the things that kind of drives me and motivates me and keeps me involved inside of this English learning world is because I know how valuable it is to help uh, my students. Yes, learning English is good. You can get a better job and do these kinds of things. That's great. Very important. But one of the huge like hidden benefits of English is this ability to learn more through English. You can get online and you can read this and you can read that and learn more and you know start a new job you, can, you know you can get a promotion the job that you have by learning english but maybe you want something else you want to go somewhere else you can do that because on english when you speak english on the internet there's information everywhere and you can go learn and you can go read and you can go practice and you can go watch videos and you can get better and better and better at what you're doing if you know english first so 
That's one of the hidden benefits, right? We always talk about being able to talk to people and family and better jobs, but this, this increased knowledge and the freedom that comes with that increased knowledge is just fantastic. So thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful night and I'll talk to you another day.